Okay, so I am Kami G, and we are continuing on with our Stormwood Storm Shield Trap Tunnels, and we are at Amplifier C. Now, this one is definitely up to which amplifiers you put down. I know for a fact a lot of people put the amplifier all the way at the bottom right there, instead of down here. So if you did that, you will have to obviously build trap tunnels for this direction. Which is quite easy, they just spawn behind the amplifier there. Some will come up this way, just trap it out completely. Some will come up this little one wide ramp. Either way, they both meet here, just keep building up to this point, and then you're good. At the right here, there is a different ramp they can take, and there's a bit around there I think as well. You just need to block that off with stairs, stop them from coming up. It's quite simple. But for me, I'm just going to show the actual trap tunnels for west because obviously my amplifier D down there stops that spawn. So all we need to do is defend for this direction and this one is without a doubt the easiest of all of the trap tunnels. Uh, they spawn down here and they split off, come up either this side or around the other side of this little mountain here up this ramp from there and it, it's honestly just so easy to defend this one <laughs> so what we're going to do is for this direction we want to block them off here force them to come up this part of the ramp and we will even also block off that so they'll come up here I'll have walls there and a ceiling. Um, let's just get them on there to stop them from wanting to go up that side. Then they'll come here. At which point we will just zigzag them. Like a snake. Get ceilings on all of that. Then again, at this point actually, we'll probably meet up with this. And block off these two. Bring them to here. On these we will do this to stop smashes and stuff from wanting to break through. I'm not sure if stuff can go around here. Let's see. Do they have a way around? They can come down here. Go through here and up here. But we will have traps here for D. So that's not a problem. But I will just block this off anyway. Um, just in case you haven't put D down yet, just in case you don't have that D, uh, you know, just precautions, block that off, block that off, right, okay, so let's see, for here we can block off this side, make it so that they have to come up that side, and then again just snake them through it. Um, walls at the back here. Uh, a wall here. Walls around where they come up. And you can put a few floors here, but don't put too much. I will block that one off. And then we will probably most likely just put, you know, ceilings over this entire thing. I'm not sure how far back exactly they spawn. I think they all spawn on this elevated bit. But I'm again, I'm not 100% on that. I will put traps over pretty much all of this. Let's see, where do they come in? They come in over here. Cover that. This is just a ramp that's blocked off, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So we can put these down, extend it all the way to like there. Um, now because stuff could come to this bit, we will probably have to do a lobber shield. In fact, no, we don't need to do a lobber shield. All we'll do what is just cover this. Although it's not that much, like I've already covered most of this 
not really that much more to finish it. From back here, all they can do is hit the actual trap tunnels. For this one then, for C, we probably don't need a lobber shield. So now we just need to finish this. So here we will split them in half. In fact, probably just leave that bit open. And here. Oops, that's meant to be wood. Alright. Get the brick on the ceiling if I get the right one. <laughs> that should be a wall. Um, and then this bit will just be... Whoa. I'd, <laughs> that's from when I put the lobber shield down, I think. Oh, I messed it up again. No need for these. So let's just fill it with traps then. Thankfully, this is only uh, one direction that we get attacked at, so it's not too bad. But yeah, we're just putting floor launch at the beginning and then tar pit traps through the rest of it. I don't think there's anywhere else that we need floor launches. The rest of it's literally just <laughs> tar pit traps. Uh, all the way down here. And yeah. Uh, we can put some gas traps down. <laughs> so we don't want to do too many. Um, maybe just go back that many. Uh, yeah, that's good for this direction. And then inside the trap tunnels themselves, we'll put them pretty much everywhere. Because this is where everything will be coming. And then let's lead down the other direction. Again, putting them everywhere. Alright, then for here, we'll go out three again, I think. Uh, let's see, put one there. Yeah, that should be good. Um, if you really wanted, you could put some here, because you will get a little bit spawn here, but um, I'm just going to put it where they actually funnel in. So that's the reason for that. Then over here we want a wall launcher here. And we'll even put one here actually because <laughs> when stuff gets to this point it's going to get flung back here and then it'll get flung out. We'll just do a double there. Uh, did that not place? No, okay. <laughs> then as they're coming up, we're not going to put them on them two. Here we could put a launcher. I hmm. Yeah, go on, we'll put a launcher there. But then on the rest of them, it's going to be broadside traps. Like that. Um, down here, we definitely want a launcher here because this will send them back into this bit. Here, we can do damage as they come round. And then in here, um, we will get broadside traps on most of this. Now, leading around this way, we'll put broadside traps... Um, Broadside, broadside, broadside. This one will do a launcher, which will send them back down. Um, we will get broadside on the trap up there. Whoop, we'll get broadside on the wall up there. And then on these ones, these ones, and then this is where they'll get sent back out. I'm not bothering with putting a launcher here to send them back out, because this bit's got a bit more room here. So, you know, they'll get, they'll get attacked by traps plenty enough there. So that's the reason for not doing that there. Um, I was considering putting broadside there, but I mean, if you have a lot of traps, definitely go for it. Uh, but I'm not going to bother. I don't think it's necessary. But yeah, that's that's it for the traps for C. Uh, even less than at B, I think that was. A uh, very, very small amount of traps. And then we've just got D to do, which is going to take a lot of traps. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and if you did find it useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next one.